Red Pandas, the Bamboo Eaters Kung Fu Panda is one of the most popular animation franchises, especially among kids. Many kids can recognize what type of animal a particular character is. But did you know which animal Master Shifu from Kung Fu Panda is? He is a red panda and not a raccoon. It was misunderstood that Master Shifu is a raccoon because of his appearance, but later he was confirmed to be a red panda. The red panda is one of the most amazing and beautiful species on earth. They are red in color, have a bear-like appearance with a fluffy tail. The fluffy tail helps to maintain balance during walking and climbing tree branches and its thick fur protects it from harsh weather conditions. Its ancestors date back to tens of millions of years ago and its present habitat is in the Himalayan forests. They are mainly found in Nepal, Bhutan, Burma, northeastern parts of India and southwestern parts of India. The word panda is derived from a Nepali word called ponya, meaning bamboo eater or bamboo footed. And although they share the same name as pandas, they are not actually related but similar to each other in the aspect of diet, a preference for bamboo. They also like to eat fruits, roots, berries, grasses and eggs. They are called vegetarian carnivores. Though carnivores are meat-eating animals, it doesn't necessarily mean that they have to eat meat. The red pandas descend from the meat-eating ancestors, but the present-day species are mostly omnivores and vegetarians. Over time, they developed false thumbs or extensions of the wrist bones, which helps them to climb trees easily. Red pandas live in hidden habitats that are not easily accessible. They move around during the dark hours. A group of red pandas are called packs, though they seldom form groups. The red panda prefers to be alone and comes together only for mating. Female red pandas, also called sows, give birth in the spring and summer seasons, and they prefer to give birth in tree hollows. Before the birth, the female collects brushwood and grass and then builds the nest to protect young ones. The male red pandas are not involved in caring for young ones after the birth, since both males and females can have multiple mating partners. As the birth rate of this animal is low, its population is drastically declining and therefore it has been recognized as an endangered species. Red pandas fall prey to martens and snow leopards, but the main reason for its population decline is attributed to environmental destruction, climate change and expansion of agricultural activities. Humans also kill red pandas for their fur, which can be used for commercial purposes. There are less than 10,000 red pandas left in the world, and of this, about 5,000 to 6,000 red pandas are found in India. They are great escape artists. Rusty the red panda had escaped from the Smithsonian National Zoo, whose search attracted internet users to use the hashtag FindRusty until he was found in a nearby neighborhood. Similarly, they have also escaped from many other zoos in Birmingham, London, Germany and Rotterdam. The red panda which escaped from Rotterdam was found dead shortly after the search began. Though its death was reported, many people claimed to have seen it alive. People mistook cats or dogs for the escaped panda and it is said that the people who wanted to see the red panda saw one. This psychological observation was called the red panda effect. The red panda was recognized as Sikkim state animal and was also considered the mascot of the Darjeeling Film Festival. One of the best ways we can help prevent red pandas from going extinct is by educating ourselves and others about them. Protecting their habitat by reducing deforestation in turn protects them from their predators and is the most effective way to prevent their population decline. Protecting the entire red panda habitat will help us save not only red pandas but also other endangered animals. The rational use of non-renewable resources should be brought into action and the use of alternative resources should also be encouraged. In order to conserve red panda species, many organizations, especially NGOs, are taking suitable mitigation me measures such as creating protected areas, encouraging more deployment of forest department staff to monitor, provide alternatives to fuel wood for cooking and promoting alternate means of livelihood.